Hi, my name is Jessica Hyde, and I'm really excited today to be talking to you about some of the basics of bits, bytes, and nibbles. And with that, let's go ahead and open the screen. Now, if this is something that's familiar to you, you may want to skip this video. But if not, this may be a good refresher for some folks. So let's get into it. So what we're talking about is decimal, binary, and hexadecimal. Decimal is the way that we typically count from 1 to 10. Binary is the way that our computers count. That's going to be either an on or an off, so a 0 or a 1. When we count in binary, that is what we call a base 2. And that is because there are only two options, 0 or 1. In base 10 or decimal, there are 10 options, 0 through 9. Hexadecimal is how we'll often see the binary data portrayed in a hex viewer, as in most of our forensics tools, because looking at the raw binary would be much more visually difficult for the human eye. Hexadecimal is actually 16 and goes from 0 to F. So hexadecimal goes 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 9, A, B, C, D, E, and F where an F is a decimal 15. If you look at our chart here, you'll see these equivalencies. So a one in binary, and we're just using four bits here because it's how the most we need to get to 15, would be 0001, and hexadecimal would be 01. A decimal two the would only be a one in the ones place. So let's talk about a couple of different ways that we can demonstrate how 0010 equals 2. Let me go ahead and switch to my whiteboard. And one moment while that is switching. Let's go ahead and click that. Okay, so we now have our whiteboard up and let's go ahead and walk through some of these examples. I'm gonna go ahead and type out our binary of 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, how do we know that this is equal to decimal two? So each one of these columns represents, and I'm going to explain this a couple different ways. So if the first way doesn't work, just stand by. This column is 2 to the 0. So this will always be worth a value of 1. This column is 2 to the 1st. So it will always be a value of 2. This column right here is 2 to the 3rd. So it will always be a value of four. And then this one is two to zero, two to the one, I'm sorry, it's two to the second, and this is two to the third, I stand corrected. So this one will be a value of eight. So we'll go ahead and just make a little eight here, a little four here, a little two here, and a little one. So 0, 0, 1, 0 means this is going to equal 2. Now, if we type in a different number, like a 1, 1, 1, 1, what does that equal in decimal? Well, 8 and 4 is 12, and 2 is 14, and 1 is 15. So now we know that that's 15. Let's say we're doing the other way, and we want to know how to write 5. So our goal is to write five, but in base two. So is there, it's how many digits we need to add up to five. And we're gonna start from the rightmost column. So do we need a one? Yeah, one 
would get us to five. And two, two and one is three, but then four would be too much. But if we just did a four and a one, that would give us five. So if we do zero, one, zero, one, we've got a one in the ones column. So we get a one and we get a four. So that equals five. The way to think about this in terms of bases, if you're not just thinking of a column being on and off, is you would literally go two to the second is four. Let me write this out as I can't superscript in this, but so we'll do two to the second plus two to the zero. which equals two times two is four, and anything to the zero is one. And so that would equal five. So we've got some examples as well. Let's look at those. Um, also, now that you already kind of understand it, feel free to look at this sheet, and then we'll go through hexadecimal in a moment. So hexadecimal, is going to be how we represent these numbers. So it, if you want to go from binary to decimal, always, like we just walked through, that's fine. But now how do we get to hexadecimal? So after 9, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. So an A is going to be 10, a B is going to be 11, a C is going to be 12, a D will be 13, an E will be 14, and an F is 15. F is the highest, just like 15 is the highest number we can make with all ones here. Each one of these binary digits is called a bit, and these four bits together is called a nibble. The F here represents this nibble. So let's go ahead and do some conversion. So I want you to figure out what hex is for 10111100, and you can feel free to use your chart or do it manually. And then what is the binary representation of the number 5C or 5Charlie? Feel free to pause the video here and do that work, and I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So 1011, we have an 8 plus 4 is 12, plus, I'm sorry, an 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. And if we count up from 9 in decimal, then A is 10 and B is 11. So our first digit is B. Here, we have an 8 and a 4 in our binary next nibble. So 8 plus 4 is 12. And again, if we cut up, count up in hexadecimal, A is 10, B is 11, and C is 12. So 1011-1100 would be represented as B, C, or Bravo, Charlie in hexadecimal. Going the other way, if we have hexadecimal number 5, Charlie, what is it in binary? So a 5 is... Cons um, in binary would be a 4 and a 1, so we would write out the full nibble, including the 0, so 0, 1, 0, 1, and then Charlie would be 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, we did Charlie before, so that's why I'm not going into it. Did you know that you can use your calculator app to help you with this? So this is the way your calculator app on any standard Windows PC would be. There are calculator apps on other platforms as well. So what you're going to do is you're actually just going to switch it to a programmer calculator. And here you'll see hex, decimal, octal, um, which Ali Hadi goes over in his, that's base 8, and binary. So a quick and easy way, instead of using the chart or the mathematical way we talked about where we're converting by looking at the power or the places, is we can go ahead and enter in our hex. So just click on hex and you'll see now you can go from zero to F and let's type in our five Charlie. 
So we type it in the hex and we can see in the binary, it is 01011100, just like we have down here. If we wanna go the opposite way and start with the binary like we did above, um, I will note that when you type the binary that begins with a zero, it will drop the leading zero, but keep it in mind for your spacing. So one zero one one space, you don't have to type the space, one one zero zero. It'll automatically do that spacing for you. And you can see that is a hexadecimal Bravo Charlie or BC and a decimal 188. So very, very quick way to go ahead and figure out what your conversion is. Moving on, what do those mean in terms of spaces? So we have a single bit. A single bit is one binary digit. In hexadecimal, that one would be represented by a one. And this zero X here, this just means that the number that follows is a hexadecimal number so that you know what its value is. And here is the number of bits, just the total number of bits. And this is just written in decimal. So a nibble, like I mentioned before, is four bits. Four bits will get you a nibble. And that first nibble is going to be represented by the letter F, one single F, because we're showing it as a full nibble. And there are four bits there. The next up is a byte. And that's what we were just looking at. We were looking at bytes. And that is when you have two nibbles. And this hexadecimal representation would be two hexadecimal digits right next to each other, no space. When we get to a word is when we start to see a space because hexadecimal digits in most of your software will be organized by byte. So here is a word followed by a second, I'm sorry, one nibble followed by a second nibble, a third nibble, and a four nibble. Four nibbles or two bytes will give you a word. A D word or double word is going to be 32 bits in length, double what your word was. So here is our 16-bit word, and here is our other 16 bits to make a 32-bit keyword. And then a Q word is going to be 64 bits, double the length of a D word. So now you can see how one bit um, can be added, and after each bit, what you're going to get. So a D word consists of two words, a word consists of two bytes, and a byte consists of two nibbles, a nibble consists of four bits. And I hope that helps. Our next topic is endianness. Endianness has to do in which the order that the bytes are portrayed. If we are saying big endian, this is the typical data that we're used to with left to right in terms of our numeral order. Little endian is the reverse of your byte order. This is when your bytes are maintained from right to left. We are going to maintain the byte when we read the order. So for example, if we have a big endian number starting with a hexadecimal, one F for Fox, Alpha Bravo, Charlie nine, four, five, when we reverse the order, it's it would be the opposite. I'll show you with this example. Hex 5A, 6B, Charlie Delta 12. Let's go ahead and convert it to Little Endian. What we're going to do is write the bits, the bytes, excuse me, in the opposite order. So we're going to start with the 45, then the Charlie 9, then the Alpha Bravo, then the 1F. So let's go back to our exercise on the prior chain. Let's see if you can do this one. You can pause here. Perfect. So what you should have is hexadecimal, one, two, Charlie Delta, six Bravo, five Alpha. So written in the opposite order. Let's go ahead and do two more examples. You try, take a pause. Welcome back. Let's talk about these ones. If we're converting this, it's going to be 12 CD 6B 5A. Now there are lots of transformations that can happen with these digits. 
One of them is when you have a nibble swap. This means we're swapping an entire nibble at a time within the bite. This is different from ND in this. If we start with the hexadecimal 1F, we can write it out as the binary 00011111. When we swap the nibbles, we take this 1111, we take this 1111, and we put it to the front. Then we take the 001 and move it to the end. In essence, 1F becomes F1. So it's really, really simple to swap nibbles. Let's see you try. We're going to start with hexadecimal 5 alpha, 6 bravo, Charlie Delta, 1, 2. Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. Let's talk about this. So we're just swapping within the nibble. So if you started with the number 12 in hexadecimal, that was switching the ND in this, and that's not what we're doing here. Instead, we're swapping at the nibble. This is a nibble swap. So 5A becomes A5, 6B becomes Bravo 6, CD becomes Charlie Delta, and 1, 2 becomes 2, 1. 